The entire Illuminati system is today operated by the Crown. And what is the Crown exactly? Well, contrary to popular belief, the Crown does not refer to the royal family or to the British monarchy, but to the inner city of London, which in actual fact is a privately owned corporation that functions as a completely separate sovereign state outside the jurisdiction of England, the same as its two sister city-states of Vatican and Washington's District of Columbia, all of which combine to form the empire of the three cities. Most people are completely unaware that when they swear allegiance to the Crown, they are actually swearing allegiance to this private corporate empire owned by the 13 Illuminati families. These are the very same private individuals who also indirectly own and operate the World Bank. And what does the World Bank do exactly? Well, apart from other things like control global oil prices, it lends money to whole countries by supplying each country's Federal Reserve Bank, and then it collects interest on these loans, which is paid by taxing the labour of the peoples of each country. Now let me just run that by you again so you clearly understand how this works. If you live in a country that has a Federal Reserve Bank, then the World Bank, a privately run company that is able to legally create money from thin air, is who supplies your country with money at interest and you as the individual is required to pay a tax on your labor to pay off the interest on the government's loan from this private bank. Many people are duped into believing that their taxes pay for infrastructure and without taxes there would be no roads and no schools and the country would fall apart. But this is completely untrue. The government has the legal right to coin its own money and control its value, but it does not. It borrows money from a private bank and uses this bank loan to pay for infrastructure and then you are taxed in order to pay off the interest on the loan. Interest which from a business perspective is pure profit for the international banksters. However you choose to look at things, one thing must be clearly understood, and that is that each person in the Western world who has a job is forced every year to give away approximately three months worth of wages in taxes, and that tax money goes directly into the pockets of the private individuals who own and run the World Bank. It's one big privately run scam. And if you ever allow yourself to be microchipped and cash money is abolished altogether, which is their plan, then all bills and all taxes will automatically be removed from your account when they are due, whether you actually owe the money or not. And if you complain about the system, well then they can simply turn off your chip. Since all commerce will centre around the chip, you will not be able to buy food or pay rent or do anything at all. And there will be absolutely nothing whatsoever that you can do about it. And that is their goal, to limit the size of the population on Earth and to microchip those that are left. And then it's game, set and match, and total control of the world and everyone in it will be in the hands of an international cartel of criminal banksters. This whole scam is being planned and carried out very methodically. It is these people and their minions and puppets who attend such gatherings as Bilderberg meetings and the Bohemian Grove Summer Festival, and who still adhere closely to the schools of ancient mystery, which many, such as the late Bill Cooper, have referred to as the ancient mystery religion. However, it is more a mechanism of control designed to reach an ultimate goal than a religion. Though steeped in ritual and what many would term black magic, it is simply a system the Illuminati system. And though its workings seem complex to the layman, in reality it's quite simple, and it's also very easy to see once one has acquired the correct manner of looking at things. And there is definite purpose and reason in the ritualistic nature of this system, in its use of numerology, symbolism and ritual. And all that is needed to realize this is a deeper understanding of the true nature of the universe and how we are all connected to it. However, this film directs its focus on the system itself and a key to the system functioning, which is through covert control of the money supply by very few people. It is crucial that people become aware of this issue because the methods by which society could free itself from this system of control are also very simple. Once a person has gained an understanding of the true realities of this world we live in, and this is not as difficult a task as you may at first think, because due to its complexities, the illusion the elite have created that most perceive as reality is a very fragile one. It is fragile because it is not reality. The reality is that the world does not have to be this way at all. It does not have to be heading in the direction that it is heading. People do not have to live in a never-ending sea of self-generating debt. Wars do not have to be fought and children do not have to starve. And don't think people starve because the world is overpopulated. Don't believe what the television tells you. The world isn't overpopulated at all. In fact, let's look at it realistically with a simple comparison of population versus land mass. And we could do a rough estimate and formulate a quick hypothetical to demonstrate this very easily. 
There are approximately 6 billion people in the world and there is 2.97 million square miles of land in the island continent of Australia. 2.97 million square miles breaks down to 1 billion 900 million 800 thousand acres which then converts down to 7 billion 603 million 200 thousand quarter acre blocks of land. So we could hypothetically give every person in the world a quarter acre block of land and they would all fit into an area the size of Australia. Each would have enough land that they could all have gardens and grow a substantial supply of their own food. And we would still have 1,603,200,000 quarter acre blocks or an area roughly half the size of Queensland left over, plus the entire rest of the world. Now just pause to let that sink into your brain for a second. All the people, that's every man, woman and child on earth, would comfortably fit inside Australia. Each individual person could have a quarter acre block of land and we would still have half of Queensland and the entire rest of the planet left unoccupied. The world is not overpopulated at all. It is just very badly managed and you need have absolutely no doubt whatsoever that this bad management is intentional and it is methodical. It would, however, be very simple to fix things and all that is required is for people to wake up to how much they are being lied to and how much they are being scammed. And this goes for everyone. People really need to gain an understanding of how this system actually works because this bad management is crippling the world and it is crippling the people. The methods that are used to do this become truly transparent once a person has gained a clear enough vision to see it and people really do need to open their eyes and see it right now because now that the world has been made smaller and now that all the resources have been discovered and there are no frontiers left to conquer, the criminal elite intend to carry out a mass depopulation of this world and their plan to do this is well underway. They are doing it in the Middle East with war, in countries such as Africa through starvation, and now in Western countries through water additives, aerial spraying, and through the introduction of toxic and nutrient deficient genetically modified foods. And this is very soon to be taken to the next level with the global introduction of Codex Alimentarius, an insidious set of food guidelines that are due to come into effect worldwide on December 31st, 2009. But people are now beginning to wake up and realize that all is not right and they are beginning to speak out. The police need to understand this situation and take action to address these matters as well. And this is very important. And there is no reason why the police should act against the people who are waking up and speaking out against this corrupt system. For the police are also being scammed just as badly and in some ways even worse than everybody else. Worse because it is the police who are being coerced and tricked into defending this elitist corruption by puppet governments put in place by banksters who coerce these officers into compliance by adding creative names to such public awakenings such as social unrest or civil disobedience and by instilling a robot-like adherence to authority within the minds of police officers rather than a strong set of moral values. The police in these cases should stand by the people they are sworn to protect not blindly follow instructions given to them by criminal elites. The police need to realize that they too are the people and they are being stolen from and used just as well. And the way to beat this system is for the people, the police and everybody else to simply stop agreeing with it. And also the politicians who bow to these corrupt money cartels and enact these ridiculous pieces of legislation. These politicians need to seriously think about what they are doing. They need to realize that these money cartels don't care about them or their families. These politicians have children and grandchildren who are also going to have to live in this world that is being created. And don't kid yourself that there's a politician in a position of power somewhere who isn't a puppet. All are puppets of the money cartels without exception. These people may well have been voted into power but the voting process is simply theatre for the masses to promote the illusion of people's choice. The people may vote for one particular candidate over another, but they do not get to actually decide who these candidates will be to begin with. The people of the world need to realise their own potential and wake up from the dream that they are living in. Forget what you were told and trained to do by the TV because it's a lie. TV is there to train people what to think and how to act. End of the list. It is nothing more than a tool of propaganda that has successfully brainwashed 95% of the Western world by feeding people manufactured news, disinformation and giving people an utterly false perception of the world and of their relationship to each other. Turn your TV off and leave it off. After even a month of no TV, you'll be surprised at how much better and how much healthier you feel.
It needs to be clearly understood by people everywhere that the elite only have the power over the people that the people themselves grant to them. So stop giving it to them. Stop doing what the TV tells you and stop complying with the system. Understand that there truly is no division among the people of the world. No matter who they are or where they are from, we are all people and we are all one. It is through the constantly promoted illusion of division that the system is able to function. But in order for it to do so, it needs public compliance. Stop complying and you will shut the system down. You will shut it down completely because if people stop complying, it will simply implode. It will collapse like a house of cards and all it would take for this to occur is global awareness of how it really